Good morning everyone and welcome to our morning inspiration Sunday February 18 2024 I hope that you are all doing well and I hope that you will have a wonderful day Our reading today comes to us from Malachi chapter 4 and we will read from verses 1 to 6. It says, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. In the day that I shall do this, saith the Lord of hosts. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him in Horeb for all Israel, with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And ye shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His word of wisdom and His word of reproof. Now, Malachi chapter 4 is a very prophetic chapter. It talk about what will happen in the last days. He says that, Behold, I will send Elijah the prophet before the coming of that great and dreadful day of the Lord. And also that it will turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the father, lest he will come and smite the earth with a curse. That's Malachi 5 and 6. Now, the words of Malachi and this prophecy regarding the work that should be done prior to the first and second coming of Christ, it tells us that it prepares the way for a second coming. And those who are preparing the way for Christ's second coming are represented by Elijah. So we are Elijah in our time. We are represented as Elijah here. And we are to prepare the way for his second advent. So just before Jesus came on the scene the first time. Who was there preparing the way for his coming? John, right? So John the Baptist was the one that was preparing the way for Jesus' first appearance on the scene. Now, our message, it must be direct. We can't beat around the bush. We have to tell people the truth. It doesn't matter their status in life. It doesn't matter their position, whether they are kings, prime minister, governors, whoever they might be. We must make sure that we call sin by its rightful name. And we must let people know that unless they repent and turn from their wicked ways that they will be destroyed that is the reality of the situation now in the time that we are living in where there is near universal apostasy where the world 
intentionally will turn against God and his principle and command. We as God messengers must proclaim his law in the spirit of truth and the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as I stated earlier in New Testament times, John the Baptist was the one who prepared the way for Jesus' return. And he had to stand up against kings and leaders at the time, putting his own life at risk for standing up for the truth. And in the same way, we have to stand up for the truth. We have to make a stand. We have to call people's attention to the Ten Commandments. We can't beat around the bush with this message. We have to give the gospel a certain sound, as the saying goes. We have to let people know that they need to fear God and that they need to give glory unto Him, God Creator, because we are living in the hour of judgment. Revelation say that the hour of his judgment is come. And so we need to point them. We need to point their attention to God who is able to save them. Who is able to save us. The hour of God's judgment has come. When you look at everything that is happening in the world. Members of the church. The hour of God's judgment has come. It is our responsibilities as members of God remnant church to proclaim the gospel in a very timely, loving, but also a very profound way. We must understand that God is expecting us to do our part to help folks understand that he is on his way, right? And so we cannot relax ourselves. We cannot choose not to do it well. And so we cannot conduct ourselves like there is nothing to do. There is something for each of us to do. And so, as we seek to share the gospel with those we come in contact with, as we seek to tell the world of Jesus' soon return, may we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us and to help us to walk in the light and to remain focused and steadfast in our faith because soon and very soon our Lord Jesus Christ whom we have long waited for will come and he will not tarry. May God continue to bless you and may God continue to keep you. Amen.